What happened to Mona? Oh, I'm right here. Right, right, okay. Did I, did I disappear? You did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could I ask you just to uh, mute your mics as well, please? You don't, you don't want to hear us heckling you, Wayne, no? That's it, yeah. <laughs> like I said, specifically for this, I'm going to be putting it on uh, on my channel as well, and I'll splice it in so that you guys get all of it. Right, so if I use my business as an example, most of the things that I do, and certainly started, was with the live training. Now, not every organization, of course, has live training. So if like I use the example, whether it's an accountant or it's a, a hairdresser, they might not have live trainings available at the moment. So it doesn't matter whether you go this way or you go that way is irrelevant. The same concept and the same strategies can be implemented. What it really starts with is content. So what is your content? What are you delivering to your client? So me specifically with the NLP training, I've got the live course. The live course is £1,200 for the seven day training. However, not everybody can A, afford to come to the training, or two, maybe they're in a different country. And so, again, if we just use pounds as an example, somebody in a village, in a small little village uh, in India somewhere, might not have the resources to be able to come to the live training. So what we do is we record the live training and I can also give a online training. So the same content, just delivered in a slightly different way. Right. Now, the other part of my business is working one-to-one -one with clients. And so here, specifically if I use coaches as an example, there's some coaches when they first become coaches, they say, you know what? They want, to, uh, they want to make £5,000 a month and they want to charge £50 per hour. Of course, that's ridiculous because you're going to have to see a tremendous amount of people to be making £5,000 a month at £50 an hour. And even if you could put the amount of hours in, it's actually very draining for you as a person. So again, just to give you an example, I'm doing one-to-one -one coaching. And for that, I typically charge £200 for the hour. However, again, that's not available or achievable for everybody. So I can also have group coaching sessions. So I work in a group. Now, instead of charging £200 for the hour, I can now charge £50 for the hour. However, instead of working one-to-one, -one, I might have 10 people in the group. So suddenly, it's become a lot more affordable for the people that want to come to the coaching, as well as instead of me making £200, I'm making £500 for the hour if I've got 10 people in that group. Right. Now, I can also take my content, so taking my live training, bringing down little snippets, and I can create workshops. Example. In the NLP training, maybe we've got a specific section just about dealing with anxiety or depression or uh, motivation, procrastination. All of these can be delivered in little workshops. So the workshop might be, let's say it's four hours, five hours. And for the workshop, I might only charge 47 to 97 pounds. And I might even make it for the whole day. It's irrelevant, right? The fact is that when I do one-to-one, -one, I've got very little overheads. When I do group coaching, I've got very little overheads. With the workshop, if I'm doing it face-to-face -face in a venue, then my 47 or 97 pounds over 10 people, so 470 to 970 pounds, probably is not going to make me much profit, and certainly not per hour profit. It's more about covering the costs. But why would I do a workshop then? Well, the workshop leads me into upsells, downsells, cross-sells. I can then invite them to join any of the other programs. So again, as an example, I might do a one-day free introduction to NLP training. So I'm not charging anything at all. 
and maybe I'm paying for the venue and it's cost me 200 pounds for the day, I could have a hundred people there. If I can then go and upsell any of the participants that are there to come and do the live training at 1,200 pounds, that's of course where I make my money in the back end. Right. Now, I could also, just as what I'm doing group coaching sessions, I can also take that and do mastermind sessions. So, a little bit of a difference here, or what the difference might be between these. In a group coaching session, I'm coaching the audience. Uh, it might be that we coach individual members. So if there's, let's say there's 10 people in the group, I might coach two people every time we meet. The fact is that the other eight people will stay, still take a lot of benefit away from that. It could also be that it is a very specific or very niche type of coaching so everybody that's coming for the coaching might be specifically within one industry sector and so therefore by coaching a couple of them like I said everybody else gets benefit from it now the difference with the mastermind is with the mastermind I might have probably six to eight people uh, I know the people that have greater numbers in their mastermind I don't think that it really works a mastermind is going to be two to three hours and here, these might be people from different industry sectors. So, example, think business networking, if you've ever been to one of those. So, there might be an accountant, a plumber, a hypnotherapist, whatever they might be, right? And each one of those people will have certain challenges within their business, whether that's finding new clients, whether it's new ways of delivering the service or the, the audience members, whatever the case might be. So with the mastermind, each person gets the opportunity to, and, and probably as the host, I will ask them, what's been your greatest success over the last month, if we're doing these as monthly sessions? What's been your greatest success? What's been your greatest challenge? And what would you like to work on in this particular month session? And each person, it's a round robin, each person gets the opportunity to say what their problem is, then each of the other people get to ask them, get further information, and then also give some advice. Which is totally different, of course, to group coaching. In the coaching, we're not giving advice. But yeah, within the mastermind, because all of them are business owners and they all have an understanding of what's going on in their own business, they might have resources within their business or their industry that could benefit somebody in another industry if that makes sense so again I've now got my one-to-one -one coaching so let's use this example if somebody wants to make five thousand pounds per month instead of uh, wanting to see a hundred people and only charge fifty pounds if I'm charging two hundred pounds for the hour of course I can see less people meaning I've got more time freedom however I can also go do my group coaching. Let's say I've got 10 people in the group at 50 pounds each. That's 500 pounds for the hour. Now I might have two or three groups going on at the same time. For the workshop, like I said, there's, the idea there is not really to make money. You could if you want. But generally speaking, I want to use that as an upsell or, or utilizing as a platform to sell other services. The mastermind, again, very little overheads. Probably if I'm using something like Zoom, I might have it's about £10 a month for Zoom for both the mastermind, group coaching as well if I'm doing it online, uh, same for one-to-one -one coaching if I'm doing that online. So I've only paid one £10 per month uh, platform fee and I can do many of these and I don't have any other expenses. Now for the mastermind, if I've got, again, let's just use a round figure. Let's say I've got eight people on, the, uh, on the, the, the mastermind group and I'm charging 500 pounds, then that's 4,000 pounds coming in, like I said, with very little expenses. Now the mastermind can range. I might do that where I've got uh, eight people. We're doing one session each month over six months, meaning it costs them 500 pounds 
for six months worth of mastermind sessions. And to be fair, I mean, one business idea is worth thousands. So 500 pounds is actually not a lot of money for them to come and do that. And therefore, I've now already made 4,000 pounds over the eight people. Of course, I can also have a number of mastermind groups. I might have, like I said, we're meeting once per month. I might have four groups going on at the same time, which means week one, week two, week three, week four, and my 4,000 pounds suddenly has become 16,000 pounds over a six month period. And if I do that twice per year, of course, that's 32,000 pounds for the year. The online courses, rather than charging 1,200 pounds, which is great, that, that's a great way to, uh, to make foster higher income. But I might sell those only at, let's say it was $97 as an example. $97, if I get 100 of those over the year, then what's that, $197, $9,700, eh? Uh, and then, like I said, of course, with the live trainings, that's going to depend on the amount of people. Now, your live training is probably going to be the place where you've got the highest overheads in comparison to the others. Now, I know I've skipped out membership sites up until now. The beauty with the membership site is I can take all of that content that I've already delivered, whether it's a recording of the one-to-one, -one, it's a recording of the group coaching, it can be a recording of the workshops, of the masterminds, or it can be the live training that we've broken down into online courses. And all of that content can be either drip fed, so they only get a certain amount of information each month. Or, and one of the things that I personally do, I've got a number of different online courses. And they can either pay £97 to purchase one course. Or what they can do is they can pay, let's say, $27 per month. And then they've got access to all of the online content. And of course, this depends again on you and the type of business that you're in. I can create more and more and more content. So therefore keeping them engaged. So if I've got 100 people on my membership site paying me $27 a month, there's an extra $2,700 and I've actually had to do very little work for that because I'm repurposing content that I've already taken from mostly my live training or whatever other content we've created in service deliverables. Now, as I said, this can be for anything. This works very well in my business, but as a hairdresser, a hairdresser could do the exact same thing. And I'm not a hairdresser, as you can tell, but how you work one-to-one -one with clients. You could potentially do workshops where you bring people in and say to them, okay, this is how you highlight hair. You know, maybe you have a workshop for that. You might have a mastermind where you've got a number of different hairdressers, uh, people that maybe specialize in very specific things in, or in, a, in a beautician market. You can create online courses. So my daughter at the moment, she's quite interested in beautician work because my brother-in-law's wife is a beautician. And so she's doing some online courses to be able to learn how to use certain things, which things to stay away from, etc., etc. So she's already planning her business and she's only 12 years old. Same thing, your membership site, maybe uh, you can take all of your content and you can put on a membership site or you might bring in and, and record as you're working with a particular client each month. Uh, maybe it's a different type of highlight. Maybe it's a, a specific way of perming. I don't know. And you drip feed that content onto your membership site. Same if it was the accountant. Like I said, you, you can find a way to bring in what's there. Seven different ways of generating income just from your content. So it all starts with becoming very, very clear about your content, writing your manual, uh, creating PowerPoint slides from that. But be very, very clear on your content, spend your time there, and then everything else becomes really easy. So I hope you found that useful. And if you'd like to find out more, then reach out and I'll be happy to explain.